Hello, welcome back to this series of videos on 3D printing a wing. This video I'm going to make a cutout in the wing for a servo hole and then the next video I'm going to show you how you add ailerons into the file. So the first thing you want to do is add a reference plane that's parallel to the top plane or use the top plane as reference and then the second reference is an outer point on the surface, so the best way is to just click somewhere, find it. This is not quite on the outside, so I'll delete that and move over to the next triangle. Choose a point. There we go. On this plane, draw a sketch. Of your servo. This depends on what you're using. If I'm using a 9 gram servo, so I've got these dimensions and I'm just looking at the outer dimension here, which is this one, 32.6, and this height, 27.3. And I'll add a bit more one to give me some room. Next thing you want to do is draw yourself a triangle on the top and bottom which makes it print and then constrain these two points vertically and these two lines equal and perpendicular and then what I also do is convert this uh, tube for the spar and then draw myself a center line so that I don't overlap where this is I also make these perpendicular. I can drag this point down to one of the, above one of the sporting places. And this is now going to try and print a surface in midair. So, what I'll do is I'll delete that constraint and pull this up to here and constrain it against the inside infill. And I will exit the sketch. And then on this plane, do another sketch and click this sketch we just did, convert that. So now I've converted the sketch, I'm just going to trim out these two parts that we don't need. Extrude cut this piece. And we're going to cut away at the infill. And we're going to see that that depends on the depth of our servo. Uh, so this is 12.5, so it's about 15. And there we go. Doesn't look like much happened if I hide this surface body. You can see it's taken out some of the infill. And now I'll another sketch on this plane. Again, convert this sketch. Also, trim these two lines because we don't need it for what we're going to do. And then extrude the boss into the model, same distance and you want merge result not on because you want to set the body and come on to surfaces and trim surface and when you come into here for trim tool use your boss extrude and then for selection to keep selections you want to keep everything outside of this body and now if we hide this you can see they have a hole in the body which is the same size for our servo. Now you want to start a new sketch on this face and again you can use this sketch that we had with the cut out and just convert that. Trim out these triangles, don't need that. And then have a surface, planar surface. And then what we want to do is have a planar surface in this sketch. Click OK. Then we can have a surface. And then click extrude the surface and click on here. We can just click convert entities. Convert this surface. Click OK. Extrude the surface. You can see that if we do it how it wants to, we'll have these extra little bits. So we should just do up to surface and then click on the wing skin.
click OK, we then get a filled body like so. So again, we want to save the body separately, so save the infill. And save that as an STL. And then on your surfaces, what we want to do is, is select all your surfaces. If you have the outside front tube, this back face, and the surrounding walls. Insert a new part. Set as an STL. You can see just the outside wall. And an open cure and drag in your files. There we go. Make sure they're zero. Again, put this as modify settings for infill, and you should be able to slice that. And move on to preview. See this going to try and print this wall. You can see that it works in conjunction with the infill to give you a back spot for the server to rest against.